Tanasha Dona is aiming a 1.5 million deal. God, Jesus, Tanasha Dona. You know, <clears throat> you know, if at all she gets this in her hands, she look like the most accomplished person that the Lord has ever created. Look, <clears throat> beautiful, urban, having a kid, known, <laughs> musician, rich. Oh, <clears throat> that's too much for her. But obviously, the chances always go to where those that are prepared to achieve them are. Welcome to East Africa Social Television. How are you guys and where you're watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're only totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name and I come in peace to bring you the story of Tanasha Dona as she has gone ahead to really throw in <coughs> a post on Instagram that has really sent all of us in a meltdown. Haters are having goosebumps. You get? Tanasha Donor Nation is really elated. They are elated. <laughs> they are really jaw-dropping. They found themselves in a position of not even <clears throat> being helpful to themselves because the story that Tanasha is going to hate to put up as she's in Ramadan is really great. Remember, she was in Dar es Salaam. She took Nasib Juni here to Diamond Platinum's home. She was there for like a week or two weeks and then she's back in Nairobi, Kenya. And by the time she came back to Nairobi, Kenya, we know what's happening in Kenya. It's Raila Odinga declaring Monday and Thursday as days to cut out demonstrations. But <clears throat> no, nevertheless, Tanasha doesn't really give up. She keeps on pushing and she's really one of those people that you would like to look at and really get inspired because she's really doing great and really achieving loads of things. Now, Tanasha Dona put up a post that I need you guys to go ahead and really read by yourselves on Instagram. She said, I might say, I might say the biggest here, but first let me sign this $1.5 million contract. Inshallah, Ramadan Karim to you all. That is Tanasha Dona. And that's what she's saying. Now, who is she telling all this? Is there a man that is really trying to vibe Tanasha? All he said yes to Diamond Platinums and we don't know whether <laughs> she told him yes but allow me first get money because it looked like you put me into your house and you are just going all over me like that because of the money you are giving me but I have said a big yes but allow me first make the money so we are really baffled about what she's really talking about and these are the photos that she captioned <coughs> that she captioned with oh my god what's wrong with my photos you photos you need to sit well you need to sit well. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? So Tanasha Dona is really having a blast for me and she's really doing great back in Kenya and obviously doing the best that she really deserves and obviously she's pushing and if at all she's talking about a million dollar deal. Guys, do you know what a million dollar is? A million dollar is really a lot of money and if at all she ever gets it, she would have really gone ahead to really accomplish one of her missions. These are the photos that she posted on Instagram and followed them with that caption of and followed them with that caption of a one million dollar. But my big question is, who was she telling this? That's my big question because <clears throat> it relates like a big yes is all about a relationship but she first needs to make money and maybe <coughs> she's sending a message to all the men outside there who are coming onto her that for me i've seen it all i fell in love with them on platinums i thought i had gotten a very lavishing man and loving but though he treated me i no longer trust men and it comes all after we had a story of omale have you gotten have you forgotten omale Rumors were that Tanasha and Omale were really moving in and uh, <clears throat> Omale put up a photo on his Insta story of Tanasha Dona and he captured it with a heart. Tanasha Dona also replied with the real name of Omale. So it looked like it was a ship. Did it capsize? <laughs> no one knows. 
no one knows and it, it never sailed as we expected it to sail because we never saw them really go far and it looked like <clears throat> maybe Tanasha felt like he's not dating the right man at that particular moment of time but it comes to my understanding that Tanasha looks like she's not ready to settle up with another man again you get and I think that's why she said I might say a big yes, but first allow me getting this 1.5 million dollar deal and she's aiming for such that amount of money and with her connections and how hard working she is, trust me, she'll clinch it. <clears throat> she'll clinch it one. Her beauty will take her places because I've not seen her as a woman who takes her beauty for granted and she's not this kind of girl who comes all out and really says or praises herself that I'm beautiful, I'm looking great or what, you know, even when she goes live on her Instagram and her fans tell her, Tanasha, you are beautiful, just says, thank you. But there are ladies, we know who are celebrities, each and every time they are really praised that you're beautiful. I know I'm beautiful. Arrogantly, they respond to their fans like that. But Tanasha has no arrogance. I see her as a calm person. I know every person has a bad side on him. But I believe it's one of those things that you'll come out and come to your understanding that it's really a huge, huge statement put out by Tanasha Donna to all the fans that really follow her. Because you won't, you won't really read through what she's saying. You just have to go on and be the adults and come up with your own conclusion. But right now, it's hard to read it through the envelope. It's all sealed because when she tells you that... <clears throat> I have said a big yes, but allow me first get this 1.5 million deal done. What goes to your head? What really goes down into your memory line about what she has said? You know, you might relate it to relationships. Yeah, you might come out and really think it's that. But uh, is it really the case? So. Tanasha Donna, please help us and really throw more light onto what you've said. But you aiming for $1.5 million is really something great for you and everyone will be liking to go on for that deal. And remember, she's having lots of endorsements and uh, one of those is uh, the Fenty products of Rihanna. She's one of those socialites in, uh, in East Africa that were given a chance to promote those brands of Rihanna. So it shows you that she's not far away from clinching that. You know, clinching such a deal just needs you to really position yourself. And has Tanasha Donna positioned herself very well? I believe she has. So guys, your thoughts on Tanasha Donna aiming for $1.5 million and putting, all putting, all posing relationships for a little bit of time however much she's willing to say big yes i welcome in the comment section below she's into the month of ramadan and you know her muslim name she's called aisha but she never 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 publicizes that name but obviously for us here we know it that she's called aisha she turned into islam when she was with diamond platinum so i sign out for now see you later muslims enjoy your holy month of ramadan and christians please continue fasting your lent period is soon coming to an end. I sign out for now. See you later.